Hey there, you guys. I just wanted to share something that happened um, <clears throat> happened for me um, last night. I I had a I had a really deep important dream, and uh, the dream had to do with my ex husband, who's now passed away, the one who um, was really into the Nazi movement. And the I the dream was we were young again and we were in Vancouver, I believe it was Vancouver, and <clears throat> we were um in some kind of mall and we were fighting and we were trying to figure out where to go or what to do. And um then these these young people came up to us and I must have known them, I don't recall who they are, but Anyway, they, they said, um, we're going uh, with a group and we're going to go set up uh, some kind of commune. And you're welcome to come with us, they said. So we go out onto the street and there's this huge semi. And it, there's, it was white with rainbow colors on it. And he said to me, I'm afraid. And I said, no, don't worry about it. I know them. I know them. They're going to be. It's going to be okay. And I reached way up, like I could barely reach. It, just trying, trying to reach the door, the handle to the door. And I open the door and I pull myself up into the cab. And then he followed behind me. And and I look and there's this white room, and there was all these mothers with babies. And, um, and then further back, there were other people there and, and I sat down and it just felt so clear and clean and happy there. And then he came up to me and he put his arm around me and he was just shining, he was just shining. And, and I knew in my heart that his, his soul was whole again, that his spirit was whole again. And I woke up, I was crying. And, and, uh, and I think that it had something to do with this, this piece that came out yesterday. I don't know, I wasn't in any kind of trance, I just wrote it. And I believe it had something to do with this. So I'm just going to share this with you guys. <clears throat> And I call it the Eye of Set. The great Eye of Set who watches all things within the construct of Yaldabaoth is also known as a mirror or Sauron's eye. It's also a portal to other realms. One of the dimensions and or worlds that it connects to is the realm of the Aeon of Chaos, which is ruled by Thanos. Thanos is the god of that realm, universe, which connects to the Hell Realms, Nephilim of the Klippothic tree. Now Thanos, whose name in Greek means death, has an opposite whose name is Anathanatos, life. Before this universe in which this construct was made existed, the Aeon of Chaos commanded all matter and antimatter, and Thanos was the commander of all that matter and antimatter. However, because all was in chaos, and there was no unification of that matter, Thanos began to take matter and form it into beings who could serve him. You see, Thanos was lonely, and since he believed himself to be all-powerful, he felt that she, he should have subjects and servants to attend to his needs. He believed that all things that came after him is all his creations, and that there is no other gods before him, which as far as we know really is the case. However, Thanos did not realize that even though he formed the matter into beings of his creation, he did not bring them to life. He did not have spirit, and so he could not breathe spirit into his creations to animate them. This was done at first without his conscious knowledge by the living spirit mother, who not only carries the flame of the living light, but is that very consciousness whose name describes what it is and does. Thanos did not know who or what she is because he was too busy praising himself that he had made all his creations come to form and life. 
Now the living spirit mother, the living light spirit mother, did hide from Thanos all she did because she wanted to make sure that he had a purposeful and evolving intent for his creations and was testing him. She did not want to reveal herself until she saw that he could manage his creations with some useful purpose. Well, at first he created beings to serve him, then worlds to serve him. Then he made females to bear his children who would serve him. Now, when the living light spirit mother saw this, she was very curious and watched him closely as to how he treated his children, and she found a degree of what Thanos called fairness, a balance. So as one child wished for something, he would allow another child something to not seem unfair. So you can imagine a group of children of a jealous god who all clamored for his attention and favors and the squabbling that created. So Thanos, out of his need for peace and quiet, so he could go on creating wars and chaos among his creations, as this entertained him greatly, he being the father of death, he examined his time spent with his spoiled children and began to make deals and exchanges with them in the concept of fairness. When the living light spirit mother saw this, she decided to take a chance and she disguised herself as one of his wives and they made a child, a male child they called Set. Now Set was very much like, like his father, but he also had a compassionate side like his mother. Set was not like the other children and he set himself apart from the others. He watched and listened and learned from them and his father was often from then and his father, but was often rebuked, and he became sullen and withdrawn, thinking to himself that if he were the god of a realm, that he could do a better job than Thanos. Not long after this, the living light spirit mother was quite unhappy with Thanos, as she had hoped that their child set would bring a compassionate aspect out in Thanos, thus assisting him and the other children to evolve but it was not so. So she tried again. This time, when the child was gestating, she poured the living light into the child who would carry that living force within her. <clears throat> they called her Epon Eponia. And when the other children saw Eponia, they immediately saw that she was different, carrying an inner light that they did not have and were very jealous of her and wanted to take that light from her. Set felt differently in one way. He wished to possess her so she would be his and serve his needs and help him overthrow their father. But Eponia wanted nothing of that. In fact, she felt very lonely and only wished to be with her mother and away from all the other siblings who tormented her while Set watched her from afar, trying to find a way to possess her light. This went on for a very long time. Now when the conjunction of time into the passing in a new aeon was at hand and the aeons of light were set to occur, the living light spirit mother took Eponia and left the aeon of chaos as they, carrying the light, were needed in the new aeons. Through a doorway, the Daleth and the living light spirit mother and Eponia were given new names. The mother became Barbilo, and the daughter became Pista Sophia. Now when the new Aeon was young, Barbilo kept Pista Sophia protected in a special womb within the abyss, for she knew that Set would try to come after her. When Set realized they were gone, he went to his father, who was very angry that they had left, and told him that he would find her and bring her home. So Thanos created an eye to watch the doorway so he could be sure he would not be tricked and he would not that he would know when she had returned. Set went forth and spoke to Barbilo while Pista Sophia was unaware in the great womb of the abyss. He appealed to his mother's compassion, telling her of how badly his father treated him, how unfair he was at times how he only wanted to create so he could destroy, telling her of how, if only he had some of Sophia's light, 
that he would create a world that all people would have the chance to be happy, a place where they could choose the light or dark paths, where free choice would be there instead of only darkness and destruction. If only she would agree to let Sophia's light be used to create the way he thought it should be, that he would do a much better job. So Barbilo finally consented and went within the womb and spoke at length to Pista Sophia to ask her to mate with Set, so at least they would have a child who could manipulate the living light within her for his creations. Pista Sophia did not like the idea at first, but Barbilo explained that if Set was not able to create a world where the people evolved towards a place of harmony, that a new aeon would be created for her to accomplish this. And she told her that she would not remember this until such time as she would take her place, and part of Pista Sophia was to stay there until the time of her own aeon. So Barbilo came out of the abyss and mated with Yodhe Vauhe, creating the Anointed One, the Christ, and the Four Luminaries. Then Set was given a space where he mated with Pista Sophia and then went back through the eye to tell his father that Pista Sophia would soon be back with them. But all the while Set had planned to take Pista Sophia light and bring her back to chaos and leave her there. Thanos agreed to the plan, but he wanted to have control over this child of Set and Pista Sophia through Set, and Set counted that he wanted to control over the eye so that no one could leave or enter the realms without his knowing. So Thanos agreed. Pista Sophia then gave birth to Yaldabaoth, forgetting who the father was until the right time. And without permission from yod heh or the Invisibles, and Yaldabaoth upon the birth was controlled by Set, and Set was controlled by Thanos, as far as Yaldabaoth is concerned. And they immediately took much of her light from her and made her into a lesser being and cast her back into chaos. Then Yeldabaoth, at his father's and grandfather's command, made the archons, telling them, There is no other god before me, just as his grandfather said. And from Pistis Sophia's light matter was the world and archons created at the will of Set and Thanos. And now the time of Pistis Sophia's return is at hand. And this is why, when Adam and Eve were in the paradise, that the living spirit mother sent Pistis Sophia to enter Set as a snake to tell Eve to eat the apple of knowledge to fulfill his promise to give the people free choice. So that was a nice little story. I'm not sure where it came from. It just kind of wrote itself. But anyway, I wanted to share that with you guys. The dream was, was uh, pretty real. Have a nice day.